want to prioritize that in February. Guys, I cleaned my lens for the first time in God knows how long. Tell me the quality doesn't look better. Stop, just take a second. Tell me the quality does not look better. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, my name is Kiara and welcome to another self-improvement video. To be honest, I don't really have a theme for today's video. I just know it's gonna revolve around work, self-care, just healthy lifestyle, routine, habits, that kind of stuff. Just a regular week in the life. I will say, I have been on a workout kick since last week Monday and I'm not mad about it. I've been very, I just feel good. I've just been doing the thing and I'm proud of myself for it. And you know what? The work I've been doing, I'm seeing results. I'm seeing results in terms of what I can see for myself and even just people messaging me, encouraging me, just being nice opportunities I've been getting. I'm just really happy for myself right now. Can we just give myself a round of applause? Thank you. Um, I rewarded myself yesterday by buying a plant. I wanted to justify it as self-care. Let's go see her. Yeah, so I bought the plant in the name of self-care, but low-key, it's self-sabotage. Self-sabotage because I should be saving and I used up the last of my splurge budget to buy that plant. I have $20 left to spend for the rest of January. And I just can't believe I'm, I used up so much of it on that plant. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, fun week ahead. We're gonna pick up my planner either today or tomorrow. I hope I have enough time today. I have a lot of work to do after work, so I don't know if it's gonna be feasible, but I really want to get the planner. I feel like it'll get me organized because I've been really bad with like creating a plan or setting goals and oh my gosh, January is almost ending and I don't even know when was the last time I looked at my January goals. I'll probably look on it after work because I'm not trying to get overwhelmed because Work is also very overwhelming this week because it's just deadline week. So yeah, lots and lots of fun stuff to do in this vlog or talk about in this vlog. I'm gonna get back to work. I have a town hall in a bit and I'm gonna make breakfast on my town hall because I might as well multitask because what am I gonna do? Just sit and listen and do nothing. <laughs> walking to the post office and oh guys it's so cold today but the fresh air feels good not me competing with the cars to get some audio going and the wind but yeah I'm gonna pick up my planner and just get it out the way because Jaden and I aren't working out on lunch anymore so I was like all right let me use my lunch to get my planner because post office is not too far from the house so yeah that's what we are doing oh my gosh guys look at this shit pray for your friends in canada like the whole track just covered in snow i'm gonna slip all right i'm gonna go and pay attention to where i'm going so i don't fall and so i don't take too long but yeah just wanted to update you guys i'm getting my planner Someone threw like a puddle or drove into a puddle of water by while I was walking by. It got all over my jacket <laughs> and I was panicking because you know it's a light colored jacket. So I was like, oh my God, is it gonna stain? Uh, I don't know. And then it got in my eye as well and just on me, in my face. Oh. <sighs> The jacket is fine though, but I may have to go scrub it out just for some of these small little marks because I have a couple of that. I have a couple of those on the jacket, like another big one, bad one here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to put some, I don't know, water soap to that to try and deal with it. Oh my gosh, and I'm hot. I'm so hot as well. 
Before I get back to work, let me quickly show you guys my new planner. You know when you give a dog a package and they just rip it? That's me. No aesthetic unboxings around here. Where plans become podcasts, where doodles become designs, where lists become lunches. I like how they package this. This is cute. I should see if I could get like a discount code for you guys. And just be like, hi guys, I'm an influencer. Can I get a discount code for my for my peeps? This is the one I got. And they allow you to actually customize it. So I put my name on top and I just changed the text that was down here to say 2022. The one I got, it, I'll put the exact planner I got in the description, like the link to it so you guys can see the style. But yeah, I really like the layout of it. Here. That's the type that I got. Fun stuff. Gold, two, three. This is what the weekly overview looks like. You know, you have your planner, all of that fun stuff going on. This page is still a part of the weekly, and then this is what one of the daily pages would look like. So it's not too bad. Oh, and it has gold review pages as well. So yeah, that's the planner that I got. Very excited to start using it. Ooh, I'm gonna get back to work. <clears throat> Very tired. 25 minutes is a long time. <laughs> It is. I'm gonna go through the first one and see. see how yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna start. Good luck. Guys, look on the discoloration on my tights and my top. It's supposed to be the same color. This is that set active set I got a couple months ago, last year. I don't know, but it's not. It's not giving. Anyways, I'm inside. And it also doesn't really matter, but yeah, this is sad. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am about to work out with Jaden in like half, well, no, 15 minutes. So I just changed into my workout outfit and I'm trying to eat enough food to get me, just give me some energy because I eat breakfast really early. I had food around nine and it's now 1.15, so I'm hungry. I also forgot to defrost my chicken. So as of right now, I have no dinner. As you can imagine, that's a sad thing for me, but I don't know, maybe I'll, I have the frozen shrimp. I'm just tired of it, but that's an easy defrost too. So maybe I'll make like a shrimp salad or something. Sunset. Oh. Sunset. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. I was gonna have a little rebel moment and eat my food in my bed. And once I brought the food upstairs, I was just like, Kiana, what are you doing? Get your ass to the table. You know, like when your parents tell you you're not allowed to eat in your room. Typically in the past, I never really cared. But ever since moving out, I, I just can't not eat at the table. Or rather, I just cannot eat in my bed. The idea of eating in my bed makes me sick because especially if it's greasy food or honestly just food in general. Like if it's not like chips, I don't want it in my bed. Even popcorn, just because it's so greasy, ideally, I'd just rather not, you know? Anyways, I just got a burger and fries. Yum, yum. Good stuff. Good stuff. Show up as 100% yourself because I've worked so long and so hard to be 100% comfortable and self-assured with myself and stop getting in so much the male gaze on our real
Happy Thursday, everyone. Woohoo! Almost the end of the week, and also it's giving Friday energy. I went to bed last night at 11 10 and woke up before 7 and it's so funny because when i woke up i was just like oh can we just go back to bed but my body was like no get up you're up you're awake like i was literally fighting with myself trying to decide should i get up should i go back to bed should i get up should i go back to bed but it's okay i'm up so yeah i'm ready made my bed it's really easy to make your bed when you have like a duvet or whatever yeah, it's called a duvet. Yeah, because you just throw the sheets back on. Um, I'm wearing this tights that I got from Aritzia. Very nice, bright, and colorful. And you know I spray my little perfume, so just feeling good for the day. I'm gonna go do some journaling because I haven't opened my planner since I got it. Um, so I'm really excited about that to check out all the features it has. And then I'm also going to I'm also going to make breakfast because I'm about to be really hungry soon. And yeah. Happy Thursday. Go ahead and make breakfast since it's already 8 23 time goes by so quickly also all the veggies in my fridge they're all going bad so tonight i'm gonna make a big chicken salad i defrosted this so i need to season it i'm gonna use all this stuff all this stuff and i have some spinach i'm gonna make like a big salad for dinner because I need to use up the stuff. And then I'm gonna order groceries. This is gonna be loud. I'm gonna order groceries today because I have one egg left and that's just, it's not smart. That's not a smart thing. I'm also running out of garbage bags, so I might as well just get stuff in. I knew Mitchell was lying. I was just giving him the opportunity to come clean. I had discovered the urn was empty. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Wait, why am I introducing it as if I haven't spoken to you all day? It's the end of the work day. I worked out and showered and did all that fun stuff, but I didn't show it because I it's, you know, kind of like routine. I do that every day. But yeah, today has been a good day. Done work, about to start some client work. Uh, well, not right now, but I have that to do tonight and I also have to make dinner. I also ordered groceries at like 1 p.m. and usually my groceries when I order it, it comes within two hours but they haven't even started the shopping yet but it's supposed to come at 6 45 so yeah I don't need any of those groceries to cook though here I'll show you guys what I got so I use instacart to get my groceries and I just got sausages for hot dogs because I'm running out I got beef because I want to make like a pasta this weekend I got chicken for just chicken, kitchen bags because we're running out of bags, milk, ice cream, bacon, lemon because I need to start drink. well not need but I want to start drinking more lemon water before drinking coffee in the morning. I think I need to hydrate more before drinking coffee. I always try to drink one of these which is, I don't know, I think 750 mls. Yeah, I usually try to finish one of these before I drink coffee. But I also just think I need to put more water in my stomach before I drink coffee. I don't know. It just, I don't know. I got eggs, zucchini, banana, rolls for the hot dog, and bread, regular bread. Uh, but yeah, Justine is back, but she just left to go get her super puff from Aritzia. Like she's gonna pick it up in store. She ordered it before she left, and they have it now. So that's fun. And. I am gonna work like I said, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna have like a little planning session. Yesterday, I think, yeah, yesterday's when I took that self-care day. All I did was watch Modern Family and go to bed at like 11. So today I want to actually set out a plan because I'm just feeling in the mood. And since my client stuff, it's not due till tomorrow, I'm just like, okay, like I'll just do as much as I can up until 9 p.m., have a have a night routine because we're trying to incorporate that into our lives. 
and yeah. So let's clear up my work from home area because I want to separate where I work from where I do other stuff. Um, like work for my nine to five job from where I do even client work or like planning and having fun. <laughs> by August 2021. I hate myself. Oh. oh my gosh, scrap this idea. Scrap this recipe. Ooh, guys, I feel like I'm feeling a bit burnt out. You know how all week I've just been saying, you know, I'm struggling with doing real productive stuff. Hi guys, happy Friday. I feel like I'm trying too hard to have a grip on my life and control everything that's going on. That is just making me tired, exhausted, exhausted, and just not want to do anything. Cause hear me out. You know, when you set goals and you set plans and you, you know, you create a strategy, that's one side of you. That's like the, the goal setter, the fixer, the organizer, the, per the side of you that curates your life and then the other side of you that actually has to do the work and i'm feeling and i'm feeling a lot of resistance between these two sides of me one side is like go go it's like a coach it's like go go and the other side is like it's like the athlete that's ready to drop out of the team it's like you need to stop talking to me like this and trying to tell me what to do or i'm gonna leave and you're gonna lose your best person if you don't stop that's how i feel <laughs> Uh, it's hard for me to focus on anything. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just doing too much. And there's a comment I got this morning that I, I don't know. It just kind of helped me realize that, you know, I need a break and I also need more socializing. I've spent the past month in my apartment by myself. And while that's all good and fine, I realize even though, you know, I'm the most productive when I'm by myself, I think I need that balance of social life social activity it's been kind of hard the past month i use the excuse that you know we're in lockdown so just focus on yourself focus on your goals create a schedule and a routine until you are able to do all the fun stuff and now that we're coming out of lockdown next week i think i really need to incorporate some socializing in my life for february i've already messaged a few of my friends and i'm like hey like do you want to do this and that and that? So I actually think I'm going to go home for a couple, maybe two weeks and just see my friends, socialize, have fun and just find that balance of just enjoying social and work life because yeah, I just feel tired. Sometimes what I fear is if I incorporate too much social activity in my life, I won't be able to maintain my habits and my goals and reach whatever I want to accomplish because time is just the constraint, right? Like it's a limiting factor. I just don't have enough time, you know? I really want to prioritize that in February. I haven't set any February goals yet or anything like that, but I know social activity is something I really need a lot of. And honestly, sometimes I'm so spontaneous that I would get up and just leave tomorrow and go back to Toronto. And I may actually leave next week, not tomorrow, just cause I don't know, I'm just not in the mood <laughs> to travel this weekend, but yeah. <sighs> Happy Sunday, guys. It is a beautiful day. I have I've been up since 6.45 and honestly, it's now 11.15. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. I need to chill. I just need to take a break. I'm supposed to film like my February reset routine today, but I think I'm gonna film it tomorrow because I just, or later today if I have the afternoon, but I feel so drained and just tired and 
if I'm being really honest, the same issue we've been talking about all week. I still haven't laid out all my February goals and planned and that kind of stuff. So I'm just like, Kiana, why don't you just take it easy today? Film the reset routine tomorrow and it'll be fine. It's all fine. So yeah, I just wanted to say good morning because I know I haven't vlogged since like Thursday or whenever. And honestly, I've just been chilling. I took my braids out. I have my bonnet on. But yeah, that's also why I didn't vlog yesterday because I just didn't look cute. I was in the mood to comb my hair. Sorry, the squirrels are distracting me. Anyway, so yeah, I'm picking back up the vlog today. I'm going to do a lot of chores. I need to clean the leaves of my Monstera. Um, so I googled and someone said to just do soap and water and I also need to figure out, well, test to see if she's properly watered because I sprayed some water, well not sprayed, <laughs> I watered it earlier in the week but I don't know if it's fully watered, like the bottom, I don't know, I need to do some research on taking care of it so I'm going to do it today because I've been putting it off all week and I am not letting her die. So yeah, happy Sunday. Change of plans. We're gonna go to the mall. I don't have a hairbrush here. I think I left it at my mom's house and I don't really have any plans to be going there anytime soon. Plus I need it ASAP because I can't get my hair in a slick bun without it. So I'm gonna go to the mall and pick up a brush. I might as well since I'm up there, there's a dollar store there, get some more hangers and just get some stuff for my room. I didn't really want to leave the house today. I wanted to sleep and just, well not sleep because I don't take naps but I wanted to chill. I'm just gonna quickly get this out of the way because it will just make my week easier. So yeah, for context, just wanted to update you guys. We're going to the mall. So I just got back and Tiffa's already going up to the mall. I was like, let me go to the dollar store. I think I told you guys that already. So I got some Windex because I was running low for like the mirrors and the glass and all that kind of stuff in the house. Got the hairbrush like I went there for. I got lip exfoliator, like a lip scrub. It's so funny because I said I wasn't going to buy this ever again because brown sugar and water literally just does the trick um but i was tempted i also want to try that thing from sephora that everyone's been getting the laneige lip mask i think it's like a sleeping lip mask or something like that and their lip balm but i said i'd wait because they're a bit more pricey like it's not expensive it's like well i mean expensive is relative but it's like 20 dollars, like 26 dollars um and then the lip balm is I don't know, I think around that price too. But $20 is a lot for a lip balm when you think about it because isn't lip balm like five bucks? So I take it back, it is expensive, but yeah. Got hangers and I got a lot this time. I got seven, oh no, I got 14 because each comes with seven. Oh, and then last but not least, I got these like trays for my desk over here, the little vanity station thing that I have. I want to get like a mirror to put on the wall, like a, not big, but like, just a bigger mirror so that I can do my makeup in this corner and some light for this area as well. Maybe like a lamp. I don't know. But yeah, I got the crate so that I can put all the products in there so that the area just looks a bit more organized, neat, clean, as opposed to just all these several products, especially since it's in the background. Everything is organized, neat, and cute now. Thank you. 